Hey, it's Pastor Kelly coming at you. I sound a little down because I don't feel well, but I was watching chat there earlier, and some folks I love to talk to. I love you in Christ, the church I talk to all the time. And it kind of provoked me to make this video recording really quickly, so it's not my best work, but have it a listen, please. I wish I had my little recorder, but I didn't get batteries. Anyhow, I say one scripture, you say another. You have your favorite scripture. I have my favorite scripture. Yes, all scripture is is profitable for preaching. Sure it is. It's all profitable. But we can't keep beating each other up with our favorite scripture. Because I guarantee told you that whatever your favorite scripture is that you live by and you pride yourself by and you memorize by and you probably wake up saying it and go to sleep saying it. There's 30, 40, 50, 100 other people's favorite scripture that you don't live by. We can't beat each other over the head with this. I mean, it's it's come down to that even in the chat, I Lord put it on me. I shouldn't say it that way. The Lord put it on me to make this because I've been watching chat. I've been watching you folks chatting. Just an outsider looking in and you guys are throwing scripture back and forth and back and forth. Some of you are basically hard-nosed, old-school Christian. Some of you are easy-peasy, fluffy-puffy Christian. Bottom line is, if you are truly Christian, which you are, I believe you are, no one goes around proclaiming that they're Christian if they don't mean it. Now, there's some, uh, sure, there's some that have proclaimed to be Christian or asked to be saved that didn't know what they were asking for and probably aren't Christian. But, you know, as I've heard and as the Bible says, if you confess with thy mouth uh, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. But it also goes on to say, which most people miss, that if you believe in your heart, you know, so there's that. So you can confess anything you want, but if you didn't believe it to begin with, then there may be a little bit of problem there. But anyway, my point being is, folks, you know, you've got to quit beating each other over the head with this stuff. You know, we got to do what the Lord asked us to do is to love with one another. You know, and that's not asking way too much. And especially, it should be easy for us to love each other as fellow Christians. It's hard enough to love a, love a sinner or a reprobate that despises the very ground you walk on because you profess the Lord Jesus Christ's name, praise God. But, you know, it should be easy to love your brother and sister in Christ rather than arguing over dogma. Because really and truly, it's, it's caused wars and it's caused division in the church ever since Christ left the earth. You know, ever since he rose and went into heaven, it's it's caused that kind of division. <clears throat> and the shame of it is, is it's still doing it. Shame of it is, it's still doing it. Now, as I said, it's uh, not my best work because I'm not feeling the best, but. I think you get the drift or get the point. I love you guys. I love all of you. And I know you love me back. I pray for you. You pray for me. Pastor Kelly's out of here.